What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. What's your expectation? Princess treatment. Princess treatments. Yeah, I'm not too hard okay. to deal with. All right. Like I said, the frequent dates, the going out to eat, the romantic surprises, occasionally. Does like, she have a cock eye? Got fired! The flowers, you know, like making sure everything is good in the house, like if I need anything. Sure. Um, not too much. Question. You sound like you want a daddy. You sound like you want a man. For you on that. So if that's what's expected of the guy, what's expected of you? Oh. Nothing. I don't know. I never. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I say, dude, women grow up knowing what to expect from a man, but they never know what a man expects from them. Got him. We've got him. She's got nothing to offer. Well, just me. Me. Just my body. It's not enough, honey. Not enough. Dude, my wife told me to be more in touch with my feminine side. So I crashed the car. <laughs> I popped the curb and then ignored her all day for no reason. <laughs> That's good. That is good. That's very good. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm all game for a good dad joke. Um, excuse me, I didn't ask for whipped cream. Oh, you didn't ask for whipped cream? Mm -mm. Did you say that at the register? Yeah. Okay, so that means that this isn't your drink. So oh, kindly sit your ass down and okay. I will call you when your drink is ready. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank <laughs> she got checked so quick. Don't be a Karen, bro. Stop being Karens. Let's end the Karen demic, the epidemic of Karens. Question for you. Do you think men and women can be friends? No. Without, like, Chat, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Do you think men and women can just be friends? I think there is absolutely no way. The only way a man can be just friends with a woman is if she's beat to bits. You gotta be ugly. If you're ugly, cool, it works. But if you're not ugly, it doesn't work. No. No, no, there's no way. Um, be no, no, just He's because, so just, naive. just because, if, if you talk to a guy, there's always gonna be a back of the start. Maybe I could sleep with her, mm -hmm. but if not, maybe he'll be cool about it and wouldn't even like mention it. But in the back of his mind, he will yeah. probably be down to sleep with you. Yeah. Now, to find a guy that doesn't think like that, good luck. It's gotta be gay. Yes. Or yeah. Asexual. Or, or, or castrated. Really. He's just not physically into you, and also you gotta be physically not into him. So right. that could work. But if it both only works when women put men in the friend zone. Guys, we don't put women in the friend zone. I mean, personally, I don't know. I, chat, let me know. Do you you have girl friends, like girls that are like friends? I don't. I don't have any girls that are friends. Right. Honestly. So I'm a six, but now you're saying I'm hot. I didn't say you're hot. Oh, okay. Yeah, you never. When a girl asks you to rate her, never give her a ten, bruv. Ever give her a ten? You always give her like a low number, like a five or a six. Yo, what? I think uh, guys can be friends. We of course friends. you do. We could be friends, but I already want to fuck. That wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay. Notice how she asked and answered I'm her you, you own. You can't be f just friends with girls. Like he said, there's. I call them on deck dudes. I I want to. Not necessarily a white knight, but just an on-deck dude. He's just waiting. He's in the batting cages, just waiting for his chance to swing. I know how the divorce laws came to be. I do. I want to know. I, I bet a I, simp I, made him. <laughs> simp was like, no, this woman really needs this stuff. Somebody must have written a book on it. I just want to know how we got to this place where... Um, you know, first of all, this idea that you have to live in the style of which you've become accustomed. I can help you here. I can okay. help you a co couple, couple ways. Here's the big one. Lawyers make a lot of money if there's a large settlement. Facts. So it's lawyers. Yes. Lawyers don't make a lot of money if there's no settlement. You know, Phil Hartman, when he was getting divorced, one of the things that he said to me, I go, dude, just f never half. Come on, man. You make a lot of money. He goes, it's not half. He was crazed. He's like, it's two thirds. He goes, a third. It's a goddamn exactly. scam. And I've had friends that have gotten divorced, and even though they were, they had come to an agreement with the, the ex, like let's listen with this, this, and you'll get this, and I'll get this. Fine. Then the lawyers jump in. He's trying to, and this and that. They're trying to you deserve more. That's exactly and, the plot of. Like it's not tough enough bro, to keep bro, a marriage. Bro. Lawyers be out there caking up though. If there was one thing, if I had a son, and I was like, he's like, Dad, what should I be? I'm like a divorce attorney, because bro, you can make bags. Somebody want to carry it? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. 
Boy, divorce, divorce attorneys be caking up. European people here. What? Why do you like, why do you do that to your husband? He doesn't want to participate. Why would you do that to him? She grabs his arm. Say it, say it. French, French, French. What did he do to you? He married you. You're helping him? You're not helping him, you're harassing him. What's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. <laughs> One of the most beautiful accents. The accent so beautiful. Uh, I am Emmanuel. I'm here. Uh, so nice to have you. On behalf of the Persian community, we apologize for you to be stuck with this lady at home. <laughs> she probably forced food in your mouth. <laughs> He's clapping to go to that. Lady, you're abusive. He's your friend and you're really harassing this poor guy like this. I know, but you trying to help me? You were trying to help me? Don't, don't help me, okay? If you acted right, she wouldn't be your friend. She would have been your boyfriend already. One of those cooked her. That's your friend? But she's just demanding these boss girls, and I can't stand it. ...on one side of the river, when she sees another blonde on the other side, and she yells out, How do you get over the other side of the river? And the other blonde says, Don't be stupid, you're already there. <laughs> she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. What? <laughs> she doesn't get it. Stupid. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Wait, because she's like singing something the reflection. No. No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> she's not even. A she seriously doesn't get it. You can tell by the way she laughed. She didn't get That's it. This thing Amanda taught you. Does vacation count? Yeah. And the funny thing is, chicks be acting like it doesn't count. See, broads are so goofy. Like they love tokens, right? So say you take a chick out on a vacation, she still want the plushie though. You, yeah, you might have spent ten bands on a vacation, but she want the plushie. And here's the thing: when you ask her and they remember, they don't think of the vacation as a gift because you didn't give her something tangible. So when they're thinking of gifts, they're thinking of the things they can hold in their hand because they want to show other women the mm -hmm. mental. It's amazing. Like if you pay for her education, you pay for her to go to college, that doesn't really count. It's not romantic, even though it's expensive. I need to save money. Get that plushie. I ain't getting it, but y'all can save money as a cheat code. Finesse them. Get the plushie. Just don't get the expensive stuff. You really? I want to interview Marquette Devon. I hit him up on IG. Anybody got a plug on Marquette? I want to interview him. Dude is super smart. I love some of his takes. Real mom is real. Don't love me because of no fuck diamonds. Take all this shit. This bracelet right here look real as a This is $23 on Amazon. <laughs> um. I actually am a fan of this. Don't think you should spend a lot of money on jewelry. This right here? This ring right here? I got a bundle on Sheen. Now, I was like, it was like five rings for $4. Bro, I do not spend a lot of money on material things. You said, look. Are those earrings real? No. You can't. Good for him. Okay. You, I don't know, man. You know Who cares why if they're real? real? Because I've lost so much of this shit. Mm. I just spent a half a million dollar loan to fuck. Call Jacob the Jeweler. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I don't lose no sleep yeah. over trying to win the popularity contest from showing up with all this jury that I'm going to leave on a nightstand. Well, like and have Ocho Cinco says, it all shines the same in the light. Housekeeper to say, I don't know. I'm sure you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you don't know what them $250,000. $250,000 is that? I don't know. We looked everywhere. I'm sure you looked everywhere. That motherfucker tired two weeks later. Oh, oh. That's <laughs> hey, crazy sure, work. Hey, <laughs> still, they paying me back to this day. Hey, you know, he's living That's crazy work. Getting robbed by your housekeeper? I don't have those kind of problems, though. I ain't got enough money to have a housekeeper. Chat, you guys got enough money to have a housekeeper? <laughs> I got a, <laughs> Cass cleans my house. Telling men that it's their masculine duty to protect and provide for women really just telling men to place women on a pedestal above themselves. I think, yeah, in a way it is. Based? Definitely. Well, is that equality? No. No, I don't think so. I think sometimes girls just like to be spoiled. 
<laughs> women are children. Men like to be spoiled by women? Yes, and women should spoil their men as well. I like so then this. why aren't women expected to protect and provide for men? They can do that too. I mean, honestly, take a look at everything we do. If there's a fire, they say women and children first. So, I mean, if we can also get rid of that, that can be helpful towards that. But, I mean, it can be putting them on a pedestal. But, again, it also comes from, like, that internal teaching and teaching from a young age of men if they need to be the provider. And if we don't put it that way and we show that everyone can be either the stay-at-home mom or the stay-at-home dad or, you know, someone can provide more for the partnership with still being an equal and have a say, then I think we can move forward in a better way. So when you spell it out for them... I mean, I don't know. I think men thrive in their masculine. I think women f thrive in their feminine. I think the more masculine things you do, I think the better man you are. That's just my personal opinion. What do you guys think, chat? Matter in a guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're saying height guy. matters. Men were born with their height and they cannot change that. You know what you changed that you were born with? Your body count, because you started with zero. So right on the board, how many men you've been with? Because we're you're not gonna ride it. She put the pen down. The won't work, She's honey. Okay, and you're a oh my god! Hey, next time, next time. Imagine so if a dude came up and started punching on a girl like that. Can you imagine? The thing is, I'm only, I'm just throwing rocks, and if it hits you, holla. Most of the time, when women get in their feelings like that, it's because there's some sort of truth that they feel internally that they're like, "Wow, that struck a chord with me." Women, remember, people only get mad when it resonates with their own reality. People only get mad. Like Charleston White says, I'm just throwing rocks and if it hits you hollow. If people get mad at the things you're saying is because there's some truth to it, to their own reality. That's what's so funny to me. Called them, called them sluzzes, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, deep down they know that they are, so they're mad at him, they're lashing out. They're just projecting their anger to, like from themselves, their own, their own anger towards themselves, they're just projecting it to this guy. This kid's a hero. This kid's a hero. I'm, I'm proud of him. He needs to keep doing this. This is great. I see this kid's videos everywhere. I'm married. Uh, how many kids do you have? Uh, 11. You have 11 kids? <laughs> <laughs> this man is a dog. <laughs> uh, I am every, every time working, no stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it feels <laughs> in the video, the guy's like, 22 baby, 23 baby mother. Like, he's like, real bad man. That video's hilarious. The cool kid, but none of the khakis ever fit me. Because I was really tall. And you got that fat ass. No, I was tall. Oh. <laughs> I was tall. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. Big you know, big truth big comes bad. out in weird... I don't know. She looks like she could hit the A-gap. The Cowboys, bro, the Cowboys need a new linebacker. They need a new quarterback because they lost by 36 to the freaking Lions. <laughs> yeah, she was brutal. So would you rather have me for the rest of your life or $10 billion? $10 billion. $10 million. I could get another you in a second. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hard? But listen. Tr trust me, I could get you back with $10 billion, baby. Listen, okay, because $10 billion... Help the kids. What about me? But I, I always back. have you in my heart, and that's like a forever thing. And you think about it, I could give like $4 million to the kids. It's like $4 million to the kids. What about me? And then like the rest can You're be... You're not even going to give any money to me? It'll be self... I can't have you. You don't... The thing is, it, bro, if you got $10 billion, you could get your girl back, bro. Maybe the rest would be self-love, like money for self-love, so that I'll be a better father for the children. They need their mother. Yeah, but that's not an option. It's you want to know why this is the right answer? Because she's mad about it. She's craving his validation. If he would have said, you, baby, I would take you, lover Muffy. That's when you sound like a simp. And that's that's not the like. Even though that's the answer she wanted, it's not the answer she wanted. She wants to, like, women are hypergamous. She wants to know that she's shooting up and her guy could leave her in a second. So this is the right answer for so many reasons. $10 billion, which, you know, for you. It stopped being a joke when my man started- See, look, she's mad, which means she's wanting his validation, which is good because women are hypergamous. Married, but I don't want a wedding. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just think you let get me know. Chat, I feel like most guys don't want a wedding. Let me know in the chat. Do you guys want a wedding? I could care less about a wedding, bro. A wedding too soon in a marriage. You get it like immediately. It's nothing to look forward to. Yeah. You should have to earn your wedding, you know? You don't get graduation like just because you signed up for school. You gotta pass some tests first. <laughs> That's good. When I get married, I want my wedding after my marriage. 
during the divorce. <laughs> and then we do the wedding backwards, so it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, I want the wedding to start with me and my wife walking up the altar and all our friends and family there throwing stuff at us. <laughs> and I pull the veil over my wife's face, take back my ring and all my promises. <laughs> and I watch her leave the church with her dad. And I'm not allowed to see her again because it's bad luck. Yeah. That's a simple thing in comedy, though. Notice what he did there. Doing the opposite of what you would typically think, right? Opposites are always funny. A guy that's sweet, a guy that's tough, a feminist who likes to pay for stuff, the kind of guy that gets along with your friends without being attracted to any of them. A good boy, a bad boy, a good bad boy, a half good, half bad, half boy. Loves your brother sensibly, but not weekend. Is a great lover, calls your mother on the weekend. Now you might think that this guy only exists in your mind. But guess what? You're right. If you want. Excellent. Love, lower your expectations a few Because friends charming would never settle for you If you want love I'm learning preaching Just pick a guy and love him And if he's got a thing for feet Maybe if you had <laughs> If he's got a thing for feet <laughs> But I, I never understood the foot fetish, bro I, n I never understood it, ever For a 24 carat necklace And my husband made me this Is the husband a jeweler? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's on her for not giving him. Twenty-four carrots some... looking like Bugs Bunny. That is, rid I thought they were hot dogs at first. I was like, why is she wearing hot dogs around her neck? I'm a woman like I like my swim goggles. <laughs> Wet, tight, and on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Wet, tight, and on my face. <laughs> Hot black and from behind. Sight black! I love my women like I like my sandpaper. Rub it up and down on my wood. <laughs> this guy's pretty I good. I like he's my quick. women like I like. This guy's quick. This guy's quick. You can tell he's done that a couple of times. Positivity doesn't include uh, men. It doesn't include us at all. We have no part in that. That's a women's only sport. That is, uh, women so true, can though. have any type of. If a guy's fat, you just call him a big back. Big call back, him fat. Like, back. there's no body positivity in the men's movement. Some are heightists. Some exclude entire races. Some women's dating profiles read like the sign to get on a roller coaster in 1940s Kentucky. <laughs> must be this like, tall. No guys under 5'10. No black guys. Must love adventure. You're like, what the fuck? Am I trying to get on? <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to ride this ride. I mean, sure, I can. I'm 5'9, but fuck this ride's racist. What a bad roller coaster. Guys can't do something like that without catching a ton of shit. Like, guys can't just put on their dating profile, no fat girls. <laughs> See how awkward it gets? So That's crazy. Though. That's because, like, the racist lady in the last part of jokes, all right, but this is where we draw the line. Women who have. I mean, it's so true, though, dude. Like, as a guy, your prefer preferences are demonized, whereas a woman, your preferences are celebrated. Yes, queen, know your worth. Yeah. J.K. Rowling, need to stop. What is that? Shots fired! Chad, is that a guy or a girl? Because my people so are violent. dying because of her. She is killing. Oh, but there's one more good thing about this book J.K. Rowling dies. Yeah, Gretchen had the nerve to kill off the queen of the turfs, and it is glorious. I only wish that scene could have been even more brutal. What? They, them, are very bloodthirsty. <laughs> so the solution... <laughs> <laughs> they, them. <laughs> hey, at least you said the right uh, pronouns. Nora Vincent, one of the goats. Chat, let me know. Do you know about Nora Vincent? She was doing the Lord's work. Bless her heart, though. Vincent? The author of Self-Made Man has died by assistance. She was a radical feminist who believed men lived on easy mode and tried to prove it by disguising herself as a man for two years. Mm -hmm. Instead, what she found out is that men actually have it very hard and wrote a book about her experience. The experience was so bad that she had to stop after 18 months because she was starting to hate women due to how bad the women treated her mm -hmm. when she believed she was a man. Men are suffering. They have different problems than women have, but they don't have it better. They need our sympathy, they need our love. They need each other more than anything else. They need to be together. 
Do you think women understand what it's That's like? That's why we have this channel, Nick's Nation, in live effect right here. Get the likes up, gents. Yeah, man. Not at all. No clue. No idea. I really like being me, and I really like being a woman. Did you like being a woman before, Ned? I did, but I like it more now because I think it's more of a privilege. Two years of book Look and a at tragic that, bro. end. Nora Vincent's so woke for that, bro. Woke in the good way. She's awakened, awakened. This is a good podcast. I like these guys. The thing women know how to do really good is keeping other women single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women sure. give other women the most More horrible, horrible advice ever yeah, I agree. so that they can be single just like you. They really have. Misery loves company. But clandestine jealousy for women who are in a relationship. No one's looking for you. You're no man's first choice. You're absolutely no man's first choice uh, saying how you don't need no man and how we don't need y'all. What do you mean we, lady? Wait. You're only, hold on, you're only one person. What do you mean we don't need y'all? You are no man's first choice. Stop trying to recruit these young girls recruit. and have them recycle your, your way of thinking to pull them on your side because these young girls and women that are aligning themselves with the interests of men, they have a chance to go on and have a happy and healthy and fruitful relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't, but now you're trying to recruit more and more women to come over there and be lonely with your ass. They don't say misery I mean, loves company facts, for nothing. Facts, bro. Facts. I mean, it's always it's single women keep women single, bruv. That's what it is. And they're always so unhappy for other women that are like in relationships. Like Cass has got a good. I pay the bills. She does the cooking and cleaning. And other women look at her like even older, younger girls her age look at her like, you don't have a job. You don't do anything. Like how how can how can you be happy? Like they can't even fathom it. Thirty. Nine. Why are you lying to me though? Thirty. <laughs> I think they're roasting you're me, dude. 30, they're roasting me. Well, he's bald. You do look older when you're bald. Why are you lying? Baby Lizzo roasting me. <laughs> Cut fire! Cooked! Iman. Hey, Iman. He's a comedian. I try. You're not that funny. I know. You're not that cute. Cut fire! <laughs> she said he wasn't funny, but nearly <laughs> fell to the ground. I love it. Good man, good man. This is what's wrong with today. The young ladies today, they're not learning from mom. How to cook, we're losing recipes. And now... Modern women think that I the mean, most depressing thing on... It's generational trauma, bro. Single moms raising young girls to be single moms. I bet, I bet most women... Chat, let me know what you think right now. Let me know, let me know. Do you think most women right now have a cookbook? Even a family cookbook? Because the thing is, our grandmothers had it, and they passed it down to our moms... But then our moms didn't keep it up. They didn't add anything to it. They didn't go learn any recipes. They got into the workforce. And like, I don't even know if my, fa I think my family has a cookbook, but I think it's all sweets. I think it's like baked goods. I don't know. But like, let me know. Does your mom have a cookbook that she passed or, you know, passed down? Is there cookbooks in your family anymore? It's just like, that's not even a thing. There's no family recipes, no love. <laughs> Oh, Andre, you don't have to move because that smoking in my hair. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way they all take it off. <laughs> it's not even your hair, honey. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. It's not going to get any salad. -er. It's a fact. The waiters are trained enough to know that when a woman- The soup's not gonna get any salad -er. I'm really not too sure what that even means. Keep it a buck. I can't believe the amount of women on the internet today calling themselves very demure. That word means reserved and modest and shy. You wear lingerie to your kid's baseball game. You are de whore. Don't stop doing it, because I like to look, but you got to figure out what word you need to be using. You are not demure. You are unpure. And the more you say it, the less we believe it. Rule of thumb. My man is preaching right here. <laughs> demure you, the, the more you say and it, the an less we believe it. The company was about to go bankrupt. New manager came in and said, okay, we've got to throw everything out and start again. And made a conscious decision based on his belief that it's a human right, that men and women are paid equally. Went out of his way to to make the workforce within that company 50-50 as much as he could in terms of men and women being represented. So we're talking about engineers, we're talking about tradespeople, we're talking in workshops, we're talking at, at the managerial level. If you hire 50% women engineers and 50% male engineers, then the women engineers are less qualified Thanks. because the pool of engineers is lower among women. So you can't hire 50% women engineers without producing a decrement in the quality of the engineers. 
the selection pool is too small. You can't do that on a large scale. You might be able to do that in one company. Think about it mathematically. If there's 10 times as many male engineers as there are female engineers, and you insist upon hiring 50-50, then obviously the degree to which the female engineers are proficient cannot be the same as the degree to which the male engineers are proficient. It's mathematically impossible. That might have worked in one company, but when you... Jordan Peterson, always preaching. I don't agree with everything that he says, um, but God, he's good. If you haven't read his book, 12 Rules for Life, I highly suggest it. It's a really good book. The, um, the favorite the favorite one in that book is uh, Treat Yourself Like Someone You're Taking Care Of. That's a good one. Of course, not all gay people are happy, camp, and fun. Some of them are lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a lesbian and you didn't find that funny, you're surprising no one. <laughs> You can hear some of those lesbian <laughs> Jimmy Carr is so good. His his laugh is like the oh, 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 oh. his laugh cracks me up. Train to Leeds. Yeah. About to get oh, wow. Dude, some girl's entire personality is just drinking and partying. It's crazy to me. Makeup check. <laughs> We're here. Yeah. Let's sign in. Yeah. What is it going on? Thirty to forty-five. Yeah, okay. the middle. I'm not so. I feel like. Who need? Jen, what's your name? <laughs> waiting, waiting. approach these men stop thinking that if you're going to a singles event men are just going to approach you in swarms it's not how it is there's way more of y'all than there are of men getting nervous now Actually, let me know if you went to a singles event and you just saw two girls just sitting there like would you want to approach them i wouldn't oh it's time let's do this oh, maybe it's speed dating yeah, I think it's speedy. It's not going well so far. Get that drink down and go. She's mad because 90% of attendees at the single event were women. But what did she expect? Those single events are for the 6'4 chads. And the chads don't go because they don't want leftover women anymore. You guys have- I mean, facts, dude. Like, why would a guy who's pick of the litter go to a singles event? <laughs> this is why I always say life is a mirror, not a window, bro. If you're going to a singles event, newsflash, those are the guys you qualify for. Stupid. That's what you qualify for. If you can't meet a guy out and about, whether it's at your job, through friends, through family, and you have to rely on going to a singles event, those are the men that, those are the men that you qualify for. This is why women, they just have these astronomically high standards. And that when they meet a guy who's actually on level playing field, they think they're too good for him. The power of social media has been great, but it's also been super detrimental to, to modern dating because women get on there and they compare their regular mundane lives to other people's highlight reels. They think, well, Jessica's out there doing it big. Her man takes her to Turks and Caicos. But baby girl, you're a Walmart trip at best. Shots fired! <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't deserve Turks and Caicos. You deserve maybe Destin, Florida. <laughs> Take you to get a couple souvenirs. You're not on that level. Stop thinking you're on that level. And the thing is, ladies, go give some of these guys that you would ne typically never give a chance, give them a chance. Go give a, go give a nice guy a chance. Because I know you've let Chad blow your back out. Go give a nice guy a chance and see what happens. But the nice guys always finish last. And I've known this since I was 16, 17 in high school. I see the guys being simps, finishing last, girls never giving them attention. So once again, I always did what got results. I always did what got responses from girls being a little rude being a little mean a girl's like well what do you rate me you think i'm hot right and i'm like eh, you're okay you're all right i remember a girl one time in college we were buck fuddies and um i remember we had gotten to a point where i was like you know what i don't want to be buck fuddies anymore i just want to be friends and she's like great now that we're friends you can call me beautiful and i'm like you're not beautiful Shots fired. you're mid i'm like she's like well what's beautiful and i was like Maxim models, Victoria, Victoria's Secret runway models. Those girls are beautiful. 
Clearly, because they're on the cover of magazines and they're doing that. You're not beautiful. You're eh, you're all right. And what's crazy is once I told her that, she was like glued to me for the next two to three years. Like she just craved my, valid my validation. That's the thing. You need to prey on a girl's insecurities because then she craves your validation. I know it doesn't sound like you're like, Levi, oh my God, that's mean. That's not ethical. It's not moral. I know it's not, but the game is rigged, buddy boy. The game is rigged. You're set up for failure. If you do what's right, you're not gonna, you're gonna be left in the dark. You're gonna be left in the dust. You have to treat girls like one of your buddies. Roast them. Be rude to them. Give them a hard time. They're gonna crave your validation when you do that. When you do that, because they are hypergamous, they want the best, and they think, oh, the best is not gonna treat me good. The best is gonna treat me like the rest. Man, put it on a freaking T-shirt. The best is gonna treat me like the rest. And that's the thing, gents. But let's hop into the Reddit. Let's get in here. Let's see what we got. My leg itches over here scratching. Rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10. This is uh, from... Computer's taking a bit to load. Goodness gracious. I might have to buy me a new PC, gents. This is from FTP Gray 59 I think I read that right. Let's get into this. Everyone to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10. So let's do that. A fat fucking 10. A fat... Big bag, big bag. Gorlock, honey. <laughs> You got one. You got one bit of that right. Fat. Fucking ten. <laughs> any any like, person who says, "I am a ten is basically saying I have zero room for improvement. I'm perfect. That's the way not that what I, I said. I said no. ten that's is what I no. certified. I still think I'm a fucking certified baddie ten, whatever. But like, certified gonna... baddie ten, whatever. Your chin is touching your clavicles. Shots fired. What are you talking about, Gorlock? Come for anybody who has a preference, like. It is what it is. Like in my, in some people's eyes, I'm probably like a one. In some people's eyes, I'm fat fucking ten. Um, so I don't. Know. This is my problem with the rating system and why women don't understand it. Here's the thing: you're rating yourself based off what other men would rate you, not the way you feel about yourself. A lot of these ladies rate themselves how they feel about themselves. I feel like I'm a ten. I'm a ten. No, 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 no. What would other men rate you? That's what we're actually asking. Goodness gracious. Good clip there, uh, FTP. Good clip. Good clip. Uh, there's another clip from FTP. Let's let's jump in. Let's give him a, let's give him a second go. Good clip. Good clip. 132 members in the subreddit. Join it. Reddit.com/r/levi_nix. Put in things to react to. Japanese culture wearing makeup is showing respect. Really? Mm-hmm. Like if you yeah. wear makeup on a date, it's showing respect to the man. So keep that in mind. It's showing respect to, but, the, man. to the man. But why would oh, why do we want to show respect to the man? They, they, we don't need to show respect to the men. <laughs> That's like, facts. Yeah. <laughs> they could just be on their own. And I want, if I want to put makeup she on, I put it on myself. What? <laughs> she's a runner. She's a track star. What? <laughs> okay, but you, so you, you're, are you saying that you don't wear makeup for men? No. no. Good Lord. Why would we want to have respect for men? Imagine men being like, why should we have respect for women? I think we should respect women. But I think we should disrespect people that are delusional. Shots fired! And if you're delusional, you're going to get this work. You know what I mean? These roasts are rated E for everyone. You guys see it? <laughs> Nobody's safe. You do something stupid, I'm going to call it out. I just can't help it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Loki, did you have a good time? He's like, I just want more carrots. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.